So we've got this rug in for cleaning and uh, before we do any type of work, before we add any moisture to the rug at all, we have to dust the rug. And uh, what that is, is to get rid of all the dry soil that's trapped in the, in the fibres of the rug. Um, and this is how we do it. We, we turn the rug upside down and uh, it's placed on a mat with holes in. Uh, and when we beat the back of the rug, um, all the loose uh, soil, such as uh, uh, grit and sand, etc., falls through. So first of all, we um, run the machine over in a north-south direction. And uh, once we've done that, we turn it round and go in a east-west direction. We do that to the whole of the road, and we'll show you how much uh, uh, depth, oh, yeah, not depth, uh, how much grit we get out of the road, how much dry soil, sorry, will come out of the road. Here you can see how much dust is actually coming out of the road. Let's get in a bit closer. Squeezed, being squeezed out from underneath. So uh, this really did need a good dusting. Okay, excellent. We'll carry on to the rest of the room. That's a lot of dust, isn't it? Right, so we're ready to fold back the rug and we can uh, see how much dust there is. This is covered. Now we we'll just fold that rug back to there. Uh, if we open this up, wow, that is a lot of dust. You have, if we fold that back, fold that back, and then we'll uh, we'll just brush it up. We can see how much dust we had out of that rope. Where's the brush? Yeah, just let that drop. That's okay. Just half the rug, yeah. We get into a nice little pile. Let me see how much we actually got. Okay. So that is how much dust we've got out of one half of that rug. And uh, when we fold back the other half, we'll obviously have twice as much dust as that. <laughs> okay, right. So the rug has had a good dusting, and this is the top side. And what we've done here, this um, towel has been impregnated with the cleaning solution which we hope to use on the rug. And uh, what we've done is uh, put these bricks on top, and we're performing a bleed test. What we're trying to establish is whether the colours in the rug are stable. Or will they run? Uh, if they're going to run, then colours will um, run into the white uh, towel. So that's been on for um, ten minutes or so. Uh, Lloyd, do you want to take these? Um, do you want to take the them off? Yeah, whatever they call bricks. <laughs> right. Let's have a look at the back of the towel. Turn it upside down. No, it doesn't look like there's any. Transfer, colour transfer, oh, no? Colour. Good. So this uh, this rug is fine to to clean. Alright, let's get on with the cleaning. So this rug is going to have a, a scrub clean and what we're doing now is uh, just soaking the surface, making sure it's uniformly wet. Uh, not my shoes, Lloyd. <laughs> And then we'll just apply the um, our cleaning solution, which is a uh, just a small amount all over. And then we'll get on with uh, the actual scrub clean itself. We'll carry on spraying this, making sure it's universally damp. Okay, so uh, 
cleaning solution is in the rug and we've started the scrub clean. You can see already how vivid the colours are. We should clean it very nicely. Very nicely done. Okay, we'll just carry on cleaning the rest of this bit. Right, so we scrubbed the uh, carpet, the rug, and now we're just going to rinse all of that um, cleaning solution out. Get it as dry as possible. And now, after we've done this, we will um, add more fresh water to dilute any clean solutions and, uh, and then remove that. So this is uh, the long process of uh, rinsing the rug. Okay, we'll carry on with that. So now this is a rinsing process whereby we're, uh, we're applying uh, fresh water at the same time as uh, extracting it. So, uh, that is rinsing any of the uh, clean solution, that soap that uh, you saw earlier is all coming out and all that can be left in the road is fresh water which uh, we can uh, dry in no time. Right, so uh, we'll carry on doing this road by rinsing this road. So this is the water that we managed to remove from the road. It's quite a and a lot of dirt came out of that road. So now the rug has had a good scrub wash. Uh, it's had its dust in, it's been rinsed, and now it's up on the drying racks. Drying, there's a lot of uh, airflow here, there's um, heaters and blowers, uh, which should dry this rug in uh, hopefully in a few hours. Um, all that needs to be done then is to inspect the rope once it's dry uh, before returning to the customer. So this lovely Persian rug has been uh, dusted, it's been uh, scrub washed, it's been uh, dried, uh, it's been rinsed as well, sorry, and, um, and dried and now we're just inspecting to see if there are any uh, problems before returning it to the customer and uh, I can assure you that uh, there aren't any problems there's uh, nothing to report back to the customer apart from now they have a lovely clean Persian rug so uh, yeah that's the uh, scrub clean uh, process for uh, uh, from start to finish So we've got this rug in for cleaning and uh, before we do any type of before we add any moisture to the rug at all, we have to dust the rug. And uh, what that is, is to get rid of all the dry soil that's trapped in the, in the fibres of the rug. Um, and this is how we do it. We, we turn the rug upside down and uh, it's placed on a mat with holes in. Uh, and uh, when we beat the back of the rug, um, all the loose uh, soil, such as uh, uh, grit and sand, etc., falls through. So first of all, we um, run the machine over in a north-south direction, and uh, once we've done that, we turn it around and go in a east-west direction. We do that to the whole of the road, 